Hello, a good Monday to you. This is the Chiefs Report. I'm Varney DeBartolo. Game five of the best of seven series between Chilliwack and Coquitlam goes tonight, 7 p.m. from Prosperous Center. Let's take a quick look back at highlights from game four that took place in Coquitlam, courtesy of Underdog Productions and the Coquitlam Express. First period, Tipper Higgins down the left wing side. His shot is blocked, but the rebound goes right to Jordan Kawaguchi. His third of the playoffs makes it one nothing Chiefs. By the way, over two busloads of Chilliwack fans made the trip for this game, and it was loud inside, making themselves feel right at home. Later in the period, Chiefs five on three power play. Jay Can to Scott Davidson, one touch pass to Craig Puffer, scores two zip Chilliwack after one. Middle frame, things start to heat up. Express tough guy Brendan Galka goes after Mark Esposito behind the play. Galka would end up getting a double minor for roughing as well as a misconduct on the play for his actions. Chiefs to the power play. Express defenseman Daniel Fritz spins and loses the puck in his own zone. Higgins right there to put it past goaltender Chris Ty. 3 0 Chiefs, just a buck 20 into the second. More from the boys in red. Another two man advantage. Hand finds Davidson down low for another one touch pass to Puffer. Bam, back of the net. Second of the game for Craig Puffer. 4-0 whack. Coquitlam power play now. Fritz will give it to Corey Mackin. His shot redirected by Jackson Cressy, his second of the playoffs, breathing a little life into the express train. Just under two minutes later, Coquitlam crashing the crease of Dave Jacobson. Goal mouth scramble ensues, and it's Brett Supinski jamming it underneath the Chiefs netminder to cut the express deficit in half, but that's as close as they would get. Key faceoff win by Jake Hand here. And from the left point, Bennett Morrison lets go of a seeing eye single through all sorts of traffic. 5 2 Chiefs at that point. And 15 seconds later, Morrison leading the rush off the ice. His long dump in goes off the back end glass. Check out the hustle by Kurt Black getting to that puck and putting it past what seemed like a sleeping Chris Ty. That's a terrible goal to give up at that point. Chiefs would add one more on the power play before this period was done and score five times in the second period. And as you would expect, the temperature between these two squads would boil over at some point. 30 minutes in penalties and four misconducts were handed out in that second period. Chiefs go on to beat the Express 7-2, outshooting them 43-29 and going four for 11 on the power play. Craig Puffer finished the night with five points while Higgins, Morrison, and Hand each finished with three points. Jake Hand, by the way, leading the BCHL playoff scoring with three goals and seven assists. Chiefs with a chance to wrap up the series tonight here in Chilliwack. Game five going at 7 p.m. from Prosperity Center. We'll have a full recap following the game.